Oh, what's up, Halloween party time? Welcome to my channel. So today we'll be doing 70 facts about Denmark. So let's move on to another quote of the day. Let's start it. So another quote of the day is, pray. <laughs> Beware of much speaking, for it banishes from the soul the holy thoughts and recollection with God. And that was my saint. Don't know. I I don't know how to like. I don't know what saint it was, but it was. It's because it's really small. So, <laughs> so let's move on to seventy facts about Denmark. Let's get started. Number one: On June fifth, eighteen forty nine, Denmark became a constitutional monarchy and gained its first free constitution, known as Grud Eleven. Number two, inventions that hail from Denmark include Google Maps, the loudspeaker, insulin, Lego bricks, Carlsberg geese, and dry cell batteries. Number three, Denmark most likely means land of the Danes. The first mention that the name of their kingdom, Denmark, comes from about AD 900 in King Alfred the Great of England's translation of Aureus's, Aureus's geography. Number four, in Denmark, it rains or snows every second day. On average, Denmark has 171, 171 days with precipitation of more than 0 0.004 inches or 0 0.1 millimeters. In 2009, Denmark had 184 days of precipitation. Number five, Denmark can be pretty windy. The average wind speed is a breezy 13 miles per hour or 5.8 meters a second. During Hurricane during Hurricane Allen on October 28, 2013, record-breaking wind speeds of 88 miles per hour or 146 kilometers per hour and gusts of 119 miles per hour or 190 kilometers per hour were registered. Number six, Denmark is an archipelago made up of over 100 islands, with some of which are not even inhabited. Number seven, the Danish monarchy is the oldest continuing monarchy in the world and has existed for over 1,000 years. Number eight, Denmark has more than twice the amount of bicycles, 4.2 million, than cars, 1.8 million. Copenhagers pedal more than 1.13 million kilometers on their bicycles each day. Number nine, Denmark is reported to be the happiest country in the world. Number 10, as of 2013, Denmark has 14 Nobel laureates, mainly in literature, four, and medicine, or sciology. Five. With its relatively small population, it's one of the highest number of Nobel laureates per capita in the world. Number eleven, Princess Mary, the wife of the Danish Crown Prince Frederick, originally hails from Tasmania, Australia. Number twelve, Scandinavians, including Danes, are the world's highest per capita consumers of coffee, with Danes who drink an average of four cups a day, coming in third after Sweden and Finland. Number thirteen, Greenland is the world's largest island, and assuming Australia is a continent, and has a Total area of eight hundred forty thousand square miles and two or two million one hundred seventy five thousand six hundred square kilometers. About eighty percent of, of Greenland is covered by a huge high ice sheet that is up to two miles or three kilometers thick. Since nineteen fifty three, it has been declared a part of the territory of the Kingdom of Denmark. Number fourteen, Denmark is considered the least corrupt country in the world. Number fifteen, Denmark has seven thousand three hundred fourteen miles or eleven thousand seven hundred seventy one kilometers of coastline which is longer than the Great Wall of China and it equals almost 1.5 meters of coast per Danish citizen. Number 16, in Denmark, age is no barrier to love. In 2009, the oldest Danish bride was 94 years old while her groom was over 100 years old. The youngest Danish bride was 19 years old while her groom was 18 years old. Number 17, practically all Danes know how to swim and swimming lessons are part of the compulsory curriculum in all state schools. Number 18, again. Number 19, one-fifth of all Danish families are affected by crime each year. The numbers of reported crimes have been more than tripled in the last 30 years to so have a million per year, especially violent crime and break is in pretty in-depth. Number 20, petty fields are considered sick people and demons that, that, can, that should be held rather than punished. Number 21, Denmark actually has a place to surf called Cold Hawaii, and it is one of the best beaches in Scandinavia for surfing. Number 22, three Danish films have been sold over 1 million tickets each, and all three of them were action comedies about a gang called Olsen Banden, or Olsen Gang. The foreign film was seen by most Danes ever as Titanic, with, with, with 1.4 million tickets sold. Number 23, the name Lego is an abbreviation of two Danish words, leg and got, meaning play well. The company was started in 1932 by Old Kirk Christie, Christie, 
Christensen, Lego began producing its iconic bricks in 1958. For more than 60 years, over 320 billion Lego bricks have been sold worldwide, nearly 60 bricks for every human on the planet. Wow. Number 24. On the Faroe Islands, which have been a self-governing part of Denmark since 1948, men outnumbered women by 2,000, and in order to sustain the population, men have resorted to importing bribes from other countries, especially Thailand. Number 25. No place in Denmark is more than 30 miles or 50 kilometers from the sea. Number 26. Denmark physically borders only one other country, Germany. Number 27. The Danish pastry that the world has come to know was introduced to Denmark in the 80s, in 80s 70s when striking bread makers were re replaced by Viennese immigrant bakers with their repertoire of sweetbreads, cakes, and puff pastries in Denmark. In Denmark, these pastries are known as Wienerbrot or Vien Viennese bread. Number 28, Lars Ulrich, the drummer for the heavy battle for the heavy metal band Metallica was born in Denmark. Number 29, the Great Dane breed of dog originally came from Germany and not from Denmark. Number 30, Danish lure pack butter is more famous. It can be bought in stores in more than 100 countries worldwide. Number 31, the English are famous for the love of bacon, which they began importing from Denmark in 1867. Number 32, the Danish alphabet has three letters not found in the English alphabet. A, so A, E conjoined, O with a line over it, and A with a dot on top. All three are, all three are vowels and come after the, lead, uh, after the letter Z in the alphabet. Number 33, Danes are certified foodies. They are, they are the fifth largest exporter of food in the world, despite their small population. Number 34, the Danes have a term, the Jantelove, the Law of Jante, created in 1933 by a Danish Norwegian writer. It is often quoted in, in public debate in Denmark and consists of ten, command, uh, 10 commandments, all boiling down to, you are no better than I am. Number 35, Denmark is said to be the hardest country in the world to save money in. In Denmark, the largest family-owned fortune belongs to... Maerskik McKinney Moller and his family of Maersk and A.P. Moller fame. Their container ships with the white and blue star logo can be seen in ports all over the world, and the family fortune is reported to be in excess of U.S. $30.3 billion in, in U.S. dollars. Number 36, the Copenhagen Stroget, at almost 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers long, is the oldest and longest pedestrian street in the world. Number 37, Janice Fries, the Danish IT entrepreneur who developed the internet telephone company Skype out of nothing, sold it to Microsoft Corporation for $8.5 billion, $8.5 US do USD dollars in 2011. Number 38, Dan Danish inventor Jens Olsen spent 27 years building the world clock in Copenhagen. It began keeping time in, 19 in 1955 and will supposedly be able to actually keep time for the next 570,000 years. Number 39, soccer is Denmark's favorite and national sport. The Danish football team became known worldwide through a, a gutsy performance in 1986 World Cup and they followed it up when they became 1992 European champions. Number 40, cyclist Bijan Ries is the only Dane to win the Tour de France in 1996, although a later admission of drug abuse cast a shadow over his exceptional performance. Number 41, a popular Danish, popular Danish candy manufacturer Bon Bon is famous among Danish children for marketing its products under names, names like Gold Droppings, Burping Duck, and Rich Swine. Number 42, Hel Thorning Schmidt, elected on October 3rd, 2011, is Denmark's current and first female prime minister. Number 43, Denmark is famous for its liberalism, and this is the best illustrated by Christiania, a hippie commune that sprung up in 1971, allowed to remain a social experiment, and is still inhabited by about 900 people seeking an alternative lifestyle. Number 44, Dane are relaxed when it, came, when it comes to issues such as marriage. The country's divorce rate is one of the highest in, in Europe, and nearly 20% of Danish couples cohabitate without ever getting married in what are called paperless marriages. Number 45. Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard is one of the most important philosophers of the 19th century and is known as the father of, of existentialism, where he describes human life in terms of ethics, aesthetics, and religion. Number 46, the United States bought the Virgin Islands, part of the West Indies from Denmark in 1917. 47, number 47, Walt Disney visited Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen once and was so inspired that he decided to create something similar in America, Disneyland. 
Number 48, the Royal Copenhagen Flora Danica Dinner Service Executive of Floral Designs of Coffee from the Flora Danica Encyclopedia of Plants was ordered in 1795. King Christian the Seven as a gift for Sarna, Sar, Sarvina Catherine II or Catherine the Great of Russia. However, she died while the service was being made and Christian the Seventh kept the service for himself. It was used for the first time in 1803 during a reception to celebrate the King's 37th birthday, and over 1,500 of the original 1,802 pieces survive to this day. Number 49, Karen Blixen, also known by her nom de plume Isaac Dinesen, may be Denmark's most famous author. The most colorful period of her life was her stay in Kenya at the age of 28 on her husband's coffee plantation. While in Kenya, she wrote seven Gothic tales and her most and her best known work out of Africa, which was published well, which was first published in 1937. It was originally written in English and then translated by Karen Blixen herself into Danish. Number 50, William Shakespeare said is Famous play Hamlet at Elsinore's Castle, which is directly modeled on Denmark's Kronberg Castle. Hamlet may have been inspired by Amleth, a Viking whose story is told by a 12th century Danish chronicler Saxo Grammaticus and his Historia Danica, History of Denmark. Shakespeare never traveled to Kronberg himself, but he may have co come across a classic tale of murder and revenge via Francois Belfort's Historia Tragicus, published in 1570. Number 51. The larger of Denmark's two jelling stones is known as Denmark's birth certificate. It was erected in AD 965 by Harold I, Bluetooth, in honor of his parents, King Gorman and Queen Tyra. The inscription on the stone contains the first written record in which the word Denmark appears. Number 52. On Denmark's Faroe Islands, there are twice as many sheep as people. Number 53. Copenhagen was a fishing colony until 1157 when Valimar the Great gave it to Bishop Absalon, who built a castle on what is now Christiansborg. It was it was originally called Kobe Nindens Haven or Merchant Harbor and eventually came became Copenhagen. In the 15th century, Copenhagen became the royal residence and capital of Denmark and, and Sweden. Number 54. Denmark's national flag, the Danny Brog, or the flag of the Danes, is the oldest flag in the world, still in use by an independent nation, having been acknowledged in, 29, in 1219. According to the legend, the Danny Brog fell from the sky during an, an early 13th century battle, and the Danish king caught it before it touched the ground, which rallied the Danish troops to victory. In actuality, the Danny Brog may have derived from a crusader banner or ensign. Number 55, Tivoli Gardens, Copenhagen's best known attraction, was established in the 1840s when Danish architect George Car Carstensen persuaded a war King Christian VIII to let him build an amusement park on the edge of the city's fortifications, rationalizing, rationalizing that when people amuse themselves, they forget politics. Number 56, Denmark is the world's biggest producer of branch minks. Number 57, Dyerhaven's Bakken or Bakken, located within Denmark's peaceful Dyerhaven, is the world's oldest amusement park. Number 58, about two thirds of all things have a certain ending in, in Sen. Today, on the list of most common Danish surnames, no less than the 21 top names end with Sen. And out of the top 50 names, only five are not Sen names. Oh, up until a few generations ago, only wealthy or aristocratic Danes got to have a family surname. However, in 1856, Denmark passed a law that all citizens should be identified by two names, one being a family surname, so most, so most people ended up having a surname ending in sin. Number 55, I mean, <sighs> number 59, arguably the most famous Danish scientist is nuclear physicist. Physicist Niels Bohr, who won, who won the Nobel Prize in 1922 for his work on atomic particles. Bohr went to the United States in 1942 and worked on the atomic bomb project. Bohr's son, Age, also won the Nobel Prize for physics in 1975. Number 60, Holger Dansk is a mythological Danish warrior believed to have lived around 8750. A statue of him is sleeping in the basement of Kronberg Castle. The legend goes that Holger Dansk will awaken and save the nation when it is in peril. Number 61. A gracefully curving lure horns found in Denmark are the world's oldest surviving musical instruments. Some date to the Bronze Age. Bronze Age. Number 62. The first Danish newspaper was founded in 1666 and written entirely in verse. The oldest of the existing newspapers, Berlings Tidend or Berlings Times, was founded uh, was founded by a Copenhagen printer in 1749.
In verse 63, Denmark has an unusual institution in the Folke High School Learn, Folke High School, which is a kind of college often situated in the countryside, and adults aged 18 to 24 are welcome to join. The first one was opened in the 19th century by Bishop Grunt Digvig, and its aim is to provide a general education for adults. Subjects such as Danish, Danish history, world history, literature, politics, religion, and of psych psychology are taught with no examinations. Number 64, the, written of, uh, the writer of fairy tales, Hans Christian Andersen, is probably the most famous Dane. He was born in 1805 into a poor family in the town of Odense on the island, on the island of Funen. At age 30, he published an assuming manuscript titled Fairy Tale for Children. He wrote 24 fairy tales booklets in all, the last just three years before, the death and in, before his death in 1875. Number 65. Hans Christian Andersen carried with him some unusual pieces of equipment when he traveled, including a rope in case fire broke out and he and he was forced to escape through a window. He never married and he died in 1875. His gravestone in a Copenhagen cemetery reads simply the poet. Number 66. The word Vicky probably comes from the Old Norse word Vik or Creek and seems to mean men of the creeks or sea warriors from the inlets and bays of Scandinavia. The Danes and Norwegians were, were known to mainly raid Britain and the French coast. Although some Vikings traveled around the coast of Spain into the Mediterranean and others went to the Faroe Islands, Greenland, and Iceland. Number 67. Traces of Danish occupation to the north and and east of England surviving the names of over 2,000 towns and villages which are of Scandinavian origin, such as places with names ending in Toft, Homestead, Thorough, Hamlet, Beck, Stream, By, Town, and Wick Creek. Number 68. Even though Denmark was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II, the King of World War II, King Christian X rode through the streets of Copenhagen every day to inspire courage in his people, despite the danger of being caught in occasional bursts of gunfire. Number si number 69, the MS Salindia, named after the Danish island should Sjæland, celebrated her centenary on February 17, 2012, ordered by the East Asian Tick uh, Company and built in Denmark. She was the world's first ocean-going diesel engine ship, revo revo revolutionizing the international shipping industry. Number 70, Danish Polar explorer and anthropologist Kenan Rasmussen was the first European man to cross the Northwest Passage by dog sled. So these are all important dates that happened in Denmark. In 2700 BC, during the New Stone Age, farmers began to settle on the land in present-day Denmark. 4th through 11th centuries AD, Danish Vikings reached the coastal areas of Europe, including Britain, and invading and looting. In 793 AD, Vikings raid Lindisfarne Abbey, which is the first raid in Britain. In 811 AD, Charlemagne and its army are stopped at the Danevirk Wall. In 940 to 985 AD, Harold Bluetooth brings Christianity to the Danish kingdom. He unites Jutland, the island, and southern Sweden into one Danish nation. In 1013 AD, Swain I conquers England. In 1018 to 1035, Canute I reigns in England and unifies Denmark, England, and Norway into one great super kingdom. In, in 1167, Bishop Absalon founds Copenhagen. In 1157, Valdemar I reunifies Denmark. In 1282, Eric the Fifth signs an agreement to create an, an annual assembly or half of feudal lords. In 1350, bubonic plague arrived in Denmark. That was probably the Black Plague. In 1397, Queen Marguerite I unites most of Scandinavia under Danish rule with a treaty called the Kalmar Union. In 1479, Copenhagen University is founded. In 1523, Gustav I breaks with the Kalmar Union, which is considered the starting point of both the modern Swedish and Danish nations. In 1536, Lutheranism is introduced into Denmark and Norway. In 1660, in 1660 King Frederick III establishes a, he a hereditary monarchy in Denmark with the Lex Regia, which, le which leads to an absolute monarchy. In 1665, 
Denmark established its colonies in the Virgin Islands and the West Indies. In 1729, Greenland becomes a Danish province. In 1801 to 1814, Denmark becomes involved in the Napoleonic Wars. Britain invades Denmark, besieges Copenhagen, and captures the Danish navy. In 1835, first edition of Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales is published. In 1843, Denmark becomes a constitutional monarchy and a two-chamber parliament is established. In 1914 and 1918, Denmark chooses to remain neutral during World War II. One. In 1915, Danish women are given right to vote. In, in 1917, Denmark sells Virgin Island Colony to the United States. In 1920, Denmark becomes a founding member of the League of Nations. In the 1930s, Danish Social Democrats move the country in the direction of a welfare state. In 1940, Nazi Germany invaded and occupied Denmark during World War II. Denmark signed a 10-year non-aggression pact with Germany. In 1943, with help from the Danish resistance, thousands of Danish Jews managed to escape to Sweden. In 1945, Germany surrenders. British troops liberate Denmark. Denmark recognizes Iceland's independence, which had, which had been declared in 1944. In 1948, Faroe Islands are granted self rule within the Danish state. In, 1941, in 1949, Denmark becomes a co founder of NATO. In 1950, Green. Queen Marguerite II succeeds her father, Frederick IX, to the Danish throne. She becomes the first woman sovereign in six centuries and second overall to rule Denmark. Denmark becomes a member of the European Economic Community, or EEC. In 1979, Greenland is granted self rule. Denmark retains control over Greenland's foreign affairs and defense. In 1985, Denmark passes legislation banning construction of nuclear power plants. In Denmark, in, in 2000, Denmark rejects the euro as its national currency and votes to keep it and to keep its Danish crown. In 2004, Crown Prince Frederick married Tasmania Mary Donaldson. Denmark and U.S. signed a deal to modernize Tool Air Force Base on Greenland. In 2005, a diplomatic dispute flares up with Canada over the, the tiny Arctic island of Hans. In 2006, Cartoon Cartoon depiction of Muslim Prophet Muhammad, published by a Danish newspaper in 2005, sparked mass protests during Muslims in a number of countries, as well as, un as unofficial boycott of Danish goods. In 2005, Denmark pulls its 470 ground troops out of Iraq, or Iraq at the end of August. Denmark was one of the original coalition countries to take part in the 2003 invasion of, of Iraq. In 2008, Danish police uncover a plot to kill one of the cartoonists whose depictions of Muhammad's broker outreach across the Muslim world in 2005. Some major Danish papers reprint the cartoons, sparking more protests. In 2009, ex Danish Prime Minister Anders Folk Rasmussen, Rasmussen is appointed Secretary General of NATO. In 2010, Mohamed Gili of Somalia is found guilty of attempted murder and terrorism over trying to kill Mohamed cartoonist Kurt Westergaard. In 2011, the last one, Immigration Minister Berth Brown Hormbeck is fired of refusing re citizenship to 36 stateless Palestinians. Then reimposes border control to curb illegal immigration. So yeah, those are all 70 facts about them we're going to be talking about today. So the uh, so the other facts I just went over are just important days that happen in the world, I guess, involving Denmark. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And those are all 70 facts about Denmark. And I love you guys so much. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications to make sure you get every single video whenever I post. And yeah, love you guys so much. Bye.